Four wines, four different colours. Let's discover why. This is a set of four wines that are very different in style and character and production method and I just wanted to talk a little bit about how they're made uh, because I think that's quite interesting to, uh, to discuss. Um, there are two white wines, a rosé and a red, as you can see. Um, generally the big difference between white wines and red wines is simply that in red wines the winemakers add in the skins to the ferment and that causes the colour. Um, so you, most red grapes that are pressed and then fermented, the juice is actually white. And it's only when they add in the skins that they get the colour. So going from uh, my left to right, uh, we have a typical um, clean, fresh looking white wine, which generally would relate to Riesling or Sauvignon Blanc where the grapes are brought in from the vineyard, they're pressed um, in, a, in a cold ferment and they go straight into the bottle. Uh, young, easy to drink, uh, clean and acidic. This white wine um, represents a white wine which has age. So as white wines get older, the color gets darker. It's the opposite with red wines. As red wines get older, they lose their colour pigment. So this would be an older white wine. And in general, the second way of producing a white wine is that they do a second ferment uh, in an oak barrel. And what that can do with some Chardonnays um, is it can give the wine some colour and it gives the wine texture. So uh, you've got two very different styles of white wines that uh, are on the market. Um, a rosé is generally where the winemakers add in the skins of the red grape that they're producing the rosé from. So rosé can be made from Cabernet, it can be made from Pinot Noir, it can be made from Grenache, it can be made from Cabernet Sauvignon. And what they do is they put the skins in for a shortened period of time the wine picks up a blush colour and a little bit of character from the skins and you have a rosé. Um, red wines are fermented with the skins, so the skins go into the ferment. This uh, causes three effects. Colour, so you have colour which uh, is different with different grapes, so Pinot Noir has a different colouring to Shiraz which has a different colouring to Cabernet Sauvignon. You also pick up depth of character, so the uh, skins give this extra uh, texture to the wine. And you also pick up tannin, and tannin is a chemical that comes off the grape skins and is almost like a drying agent. It sort of dries out your mouth when you put it into your palate. Um, so these are the big differences between, for example, a fresh white, a medium bodied, um, richer, older white wine, a rosé, and a red, which has had a lot of skin contact. Um, and I hope that explains that a little bit for you. <laughs>